everyone, Sarah here. Welcome back to a Friday video tutorial here at Mrs. Lincoln's Inkin. Today we are going to be making these cute little um, scallop, scallop <laughs> topper punch closure cards. Hopefully I can come up with a better name <laughs> than them. Um, these cards are all over YouTube um, and stuff right now and um, I just thought that they were so cute. I love when you can use punches um, in different ways other than, you know, just its normal way. And how cute is it to make a closure on a card? Um, so these are three that I have already made today. And the DSP is actually retired. It was in um, Stampin' Up's celebration, which ended March 31st. So I'm a little behind making the videos, but I wanted to go ahead and show you guys um, these anyway and this one right here actually is a when you open it up I have turned it into a gift card holder so your gift card let me grab one right here would just slip in like that and then when you close it you would tie it up and I'm not going to show um, how I made the little gift card holder um, it's just a piece of paper cut to the size that you want um, and then I, I used the basic black on this one so it would mesh with the base of my card. And then I just put a piece of DSP on it, took my 1 and 3 8 circle punch, half mooned it right there, and then I put red sticky just on three sides of it. So it's pretty, I mean, it's super simple. There's not really anything to that. That's just how I did it. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the actual um, card today. So let's go ahead and get started. Get all my stuff out of the way here. All right, so first what you're going to need is a piece of cardstock, and I'm using the Strawberry Slush today, and this is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. So you're gonna take a normal piece of eight and a half by 11 cardstock, and you're just gonna cut it in half at the five and a half mark. We're gonna grab our paper trimmer here, and we don't need to do any cutting right now, so we're just going to use the little score blade right here. And with our five and a half side at the top of our trimmer, we're going to line our paper up with the two and three quarter inch mark. Now, let me make sure you can see that. Now, the only thing we're using this paper trimmer for is we're going to take our little score blade and we're going to make a notch right there at the top of our cardstock. That's it. We're going to flip it over like this, line it up with two and three quarters again, and do the exact same thing. Make a little notch right there. Now you don't have to use your paper trimmer. You could use a ruler and a pencil. I just find that this is easier for me. Um, and you can move the marking down where you want it. You know, wherever your marking is going to go is where the closure of your card is going to go. So like on this one, was it this one? No, on this one, I did it just at two and a quarter, not two and three quarters. So it's up a little bit more on the card rather than in the middle, which is where it's going to be if you do the two and three quarter mark. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take the new scallop topper punch. Love this punch. We're going to flip it over and we're going to line that notch up that we just made in the center of that scallop right there. So we're gonna take this, and it's kinda hard to get in there because you know this isn't how the paper is supposed to go in the punch, but. And then we're just going to line it right up in the middle. And I don't know if you can see that score mark or not, but it's right in the center of that scallop. And then we're just going to punch. Get all the excess out of there, pull it out. Now it looks like that. Now we're going to flip it around and we're going to do the same thing on this side. Line our little notch up with our scallop right there in the middle. Punch. There we go. So now it looks like that. So now we're done with the topper punch. We're going to come back with our paper trimmer. And this time we're using the cutting blade and the scoring blade. So what you want to do is you want to line up these. Let me see if I can move you in a little bit because I want to be able to make sure that you can see. There we go. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to line that little notch up with our little cutting groove right there because we want to cut these, um, we want to, 
cut these little flaps off. So we're going to line our opening right there up in our groove. We're going to take our cutting blade. We're going to start at the top. And when it hits that opening right there, you're going to be able to feel it in your blade. So then we're going to come down. Oop, and then we're going to remove this. Now we're going to do the exact same thing right here on the bottom. We're going to line our cutting blade up starting from the bottom. I always like to go so the notch is the last place my blade ends up because then, like I said, then you can feel it. And we're going to cut up. And there you go. Perfect. Now before we move this side, we're going to put our blade down or our arm down again. We're going to take our scoring blade and we're going to score that right there. Okay, so now let me move you out again. I know, I'm sorry, I'm making you guys dizzy today. All right, so now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. We're going to line our little things up with our grooves, and then we're going to cut, and then we're going to cut. Now we are not going to score this side, so you only want to score the um, little scallop on one of the sides of your card, not on both. Okay, so now it looks like that. Oh, we need the scoring, or the thing, one more time. I shouldn't have put it away. <laughs> so with the, um, with the scoring uh, scallop right there, I'm losing my spot here, sorry. We're gonna fold that inward. Now we're gonna line this flush side up right now. I feel like you guys are way far out now. And my camera is dropping. We're having all kinds of technical difficulties. Sorry guys, my camera just fell off of its little nice home. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna put this in now with the flush side right here and it's still falling. I'm so sorry. Let's try that. <laughs> we're going to put it at four and one quarter and now we're going to score, not cut, but score, just like that. Okay, so now when we fold this inward, there's our little closure. Isn't that cute and pretty simple? So then what you would do is you would put your um, matting in your um, piece of white cardstock if you wanted a greeting on there you would put it on the inside for the outside panel here I'm using the um, daffodil delight and this is cut at five and one quarter by two and one quarter and then I'm using the watercolor wonder DSP and this is cut at five by two and I'm just going to layer this DSP on top of my daffodil delight like that and then stick this to the front of my card just like that Oop. and now to keep the um, card closed I'm using the white um, organza ribbon and I'm just going to cut off um, a little bit no exact measurement it's just how big you want your little bow and then I'm going to feed it through here this side and then up through this side and then I'm just going to tie a bow I find that the seam binding ribbon or um, the um, fatter ribbon, like the organza ribbon here, actually works better than the smaller ribbon. I don't know why. I have just found that it works better. And then we can make our bow as big or as little as we want. Cut off our little tail right here. Perfect. Now to finish off my card today, I'm just going to take my greeting, um, which I'm using the same from the Field of Flowers stamp set. It's right there. My thoughts are happiest uh, when you're in them. How cute. And then I used uh, my punch here and punched it out. And I'm going to punch out another one in the Strawberry Slush. 
And then I'm just going to cut it in half with my paper snips here. And this is how I back my um, punches. When there isn't, you know, a bigger punch or, um, you know, because in the framelits you get different sizes so you're able to back them. Well, with the punches, you don't. So this way, at least the top and the bottom of my punch have some sort of dimension. And if you're familiar with my videos, you know how obsessed I am <laughs> with dimension. So now I'm just going to take that and I'm going to use a couple of dimensionals here. Pop the backs off and then I'm just going to put this right down here at the bottom. And there we go. So there is the scallop top closure card. And here are the few others. So I really hope you enjoyed today's video, guys. Thanks for stopping by. Until next time, happy inking.